Hey guys, in this video, I want to be showing you some free logo design software where you can use to design your own logos. So let's jump right into it. There's this cool website called Vector, and that's Vector spelled with a V-E-C-T-R dot com. If you type that out, you'll see this is the site, and you can see it's free vector graphic software. And I'm not affiliated with this platform. I just want to make a video to help you guys out. So cool, once we're inside here, what we have is our artboard or our place where we can design. It's also got layers on the left hand side and also pages which sort of acts like an artboard. And then we got all our tools on the left, you've got shapes, you got the pen tool, the pencil tool, the text tool, and also you can upload images as well if you have inspiration. You can click on this little three dots here and it will give you some shape options. So you can see here's pre-made shapes which I can use and I'll show you that in a second. You also have gridding up here so I can set up a grid. I can set on snapping and change it, play around with that. I can click on file settings and change it from pixels to points maybe if I want. I can also export, so to export a logo you can click export and they've got some options here, SVG and you can save as a PNG as well and set the resolution which is really cool. So first up, let's see, I want to make a shape, so let's make a logo, so I'm going to start off with using an ellipse, so I'm going to click the ellipse and you can see the grids are starting to work. What I'm going to do, I'm going to left click and drag, I want to hold shift because if I don't it's not going to constrain the restrictions of the shape. So I want to keep it, you know, asymmetrical. So if we can see that, cool. And I can move around. Uh, if I use my mouse, I can also zoom in. If I press Control Plus and Control Minus, if you're on a Mac, it should be Command. So I'm just zooming in a bit there. You can see we can flip it horizontal or flip vertical. We've got some options. I can also play around with colors. So once I made a shape on the right hand side, you'll see you get all these options here. So I want to create a logo. I'm going to just call it forest. I want to get like a greeny color. Um, that's a nice color. You can also, you know, add gradients and stuff like that, as you can see. But I'm going to leave it on color and you can tick off the box there. I can add a border. So maybe if I want a border, I can add like a green color or whatever you want. So that's a cool thing as well, but I can tick that off. You can also add shadows by ticking these little boxes. You can turn them on and off. I can add a glow as well. And you know, it's got some pretty similar tools just like Illustrator. I can also adjust the opacity by dragging this bar. So you can see that. And I think I have an extra circle there. Just click on it. Make sure you select the right object. So you got to click on it. Then we've got dimensions in the bottom there, so you can adjust it by certain percentages and stuff if you want. But it's totally cool and up to you. So I've got this shape. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on the three dots and you can see I've got all these shapes. So you can see I can add a star, I can add like a little house thing. I can do so many interesting things. So maybe I want to get a lightning bolt. Click and drag this, bring it into the center and change the color to white. And I'm going to click on it and scale it down. You can see you drag the anchor points on the corners. Maybe I can just leave it in the middle like this. Or maybe I can have the logo like coming up like that. Yeah, there's different ways we can do it. But I might just do this. Cool. Bring that out. I can also use the pen tool as well. So if I click the pen tool... It's pretty much the same as Illustrator, so if you click it, you can click and draw out your own shapes. It's very fluid as well, so you can see that. I can change the stroke and the size. I can change it from inside, outside, change the color as well, so that's a pretty handy tool as well. The pencil tool is the same, but it doesn't, it's pretty much, you can just, it's for freehand drawing, as you can see. And then the text tool, so we're going to add some text, so I'll press the text tool. And I'm going to just left click once on the board. And I'm going to type in forest power. And then I'm going to click off. So then we can select it. Because if you don't click off it, you won't be able to select it. So I'm going to scale this up. I'm going to bump the size up from the right hand side on the tools there. I'm just going to hold shift to select both of these objects. Or oh, what, what happened? Uh, I'm going to, sorry, just select it like this and move it to the left. Zoom out a bit, and I'm going to bring this into the middle there, and I'm going to bump up the size a bit more, move it into the middle, 
and you can see it's snapping which is kind of cool cool so what i want to do now is i wanted to change the font because i don't like this font so i'm going to click on the box at the top and you can see it's probably using google fonts at the moment and we're going to find a nice font that will be cool what about this one righteous that looks pretty cool very feels very modern we could also go like a rubric that one's kind of nice as well I, I like how it's rounded i wonder if i can actually round off these um this stuff as well yeah it looks like we can't round these off um so we'll just leave it so i'm going to select the font and i'm going to make it the same color as the green over here so what i can do is i can once you click the color box here i can click the eyedropper and i'm going to go and select the green over here so now if i just get rid of the grid you can see it selected the same green as my icon that i just made so i might i'm just going to tighten up a bit so you can see it's going into the minus i bring it a bit closer might play with the size a bit you can see you can also you know make it go on the left or right depending how big the box is there but at the moment if i zoom out you can see i'm kind of liking this logo right now look it's looking really cool and maybe you can add like a tagline so i'll type text again i'll click um providing let me make this smaller click off click on the text make it smaller i'm gonna make it a gray color as well just something not too crazy and this font doesn't have many weights so i might have to do another font maybe a more thinner one what about this one nah i need a i need a sans serif font that's really simple if i find one is there a monster rat or maybe Proxima or something. So obviously these programs are limited and they might not work as perfectly as you want it. So keep that in mind. So I'm gonna type in providing renewable energy. Oh, what happened to the font? It just, okay, that's weird. <laughs> what the heck is happening? Okay, cool. So I have a little bit of a tagline here. Maybe I could put it like over here or something. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Leave it like that. Or maybe I could put it like here. Play around with that. Maybe I can just make it bigger. Make it like this. Yeah, I can play around. Okay, cool probably too small to be there but doesn't matter okay sweet so once I'm happy with this logo I could play around the colors I can edit it whatever it's up to me but I'm gonna click export on the top right and you can see what I want to choose you want to make sure that you're on the right page so you can see if I go to my pages this is my one page you can also add a page as well which is like another artboard so you can make different logos maybe you want to make a different variation I can you know select all this by clicking and dragging Control c and Control v to paste and maybe i want to do a different version with like a different green or something maybe i want to go like a more you know aqua green or something like that you know maybe something different maybe i want to have the tagline bigger whatever so you want to make sure you're on the right page and you can see all your layers here you can always turn your layers off and on so I can lock layers in the top left corner and stuff like that but uh, obviously you can play around with that so once again I'll go back to export I want to save it as a PNG I'm probably gonna bump this up to 2000 because I want the logo to be big and what I'm going to do now is press download and it literally just downloads right off the site so if i click the download now you can see i actually have my logo so that's pretty cool so maybe if i want to go into illustrator i'll go into illustrator real quick i can lit literally just drag and drop the logo here like this 
So, you know, obviously I don't recommend using this tool if you're a designer. It's great for non-designers. Um, and look, I can drag it. I can probably trace it if I want. Um, let's see what happens. Yes, and then I can expand it and then maybe customize the logo even further to make it really, you know, easier or play around with different stuff. You know, whatever I want. But um, you can literally use, use the PNG there, which means it's transparent. You can upload it to Facebook or social media really easily. And that's how we do it. So I hope this tutorial was helpful. Let me know if you're a designer or not. Maybe you want to use this tool, but I feel like it does what it, you know, says it will do. It's a free vector program, and I feel like it's really cool. Thanks for watching, guys. Leave a comment if you thought this tutorial was nice or not. And hit that subscribe button to get notifications on all the new stuff coming up. Appreciate you. Have an awesome one.